In this video, I will show you how you can work with Google Drive and Dropbox in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. So the problem is that in Final Cut Pro currently, if you, for example, have an external SSD, it will always copy those files to the internal drive and then you can work internally. It's basically the same with Google Drive and Dropbox, but you can add Dropbox and Google Drive to your iPad and then download the files from your server. So in order to make this work, we have to first open the files app. So separately open the files app. And if you don't see your Dropbox or Google Drive here, because you see, I have iCloud here. And the same way I can go here now to the three dots and say edit sidebar. And I can now add Dropbox and Google Drive here to the sidebar. So now you have to be logged in on your iPad. So for example, if I go to Dropbox, it will open my Dropbox folders. And you have to do exactly the same on yours and you have to make sure that you're logged in. But then when you now come to Final Cut Pro, I can now say here, import from my files. And now you also see Dropbox and Google Drive here on the side. And like I told you before, it will always download the videos to your internal drive and work on the internal drive. Maybe in a future update, they will allow us that we can also work from different spaces. That is the way that you can work with Dropbox. If you want to learn more about Final Cut Pro for the iPad or DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, then hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-